The Ukrainian military deployed at what is locally known as the Svitlodarsk Bulge are used to being on high alert. The machine gun belts are loaded and ready in preparation for any attack. Compared to what this place used to be like, this is now like a resort. No artillery attacks, no tanks, mostly just small arms. Nevertheless, the bullets from small arms can be deadly. All the roads here are exposed to enemy fire. And judging by the shells we find on the ground, it seems that Ukrainian soldiers often have to suppress attacks from Russian hybrid forces. It's not uncommon to find children's drawings decorating the block posts and trenches here. On them, one will often find a depiction of a young family without the father. My wife and son are waiting at home. He will soon turn three. There are many young fathers here on the front line, so young that to Master Sergeant Petrovich, they're just like children. This is his second stint on the front line in Donbass. After demobilization, he returned to his profession, which is brewing beer. But after a short while, the desire to help his comrades brought him back to the east. I was preoccupied with my job, my product. I worried about it all being done correctly and tasting just right. And here, I'm preoccupied with making sure the soldiers come back alive to their wives and children. And some are yet to find a wife and have children, because they are our future. And knowing these guys, I can say that we have a strong future. Natalia and her daughter live practically on the front line. Aside from the military, they have only one neighbour. The rest fled their homes. Our correspondent says this is what has happened to many households in communities located on the so-called Svitlodarsk bulge. You can see the residents try to put film on their windows to keep the warmth in and the wind out. All in all, this didn't help. Having suffered the consequences of enemy shelling, the house is now empty, as are most others nearby. Those people still remaining say that those who fled are willing to return and rebuild as soon as the war is over.